Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, I'm here on the bridge wing and we are ready to perform the pre-arrival tests before arrival to the port which we're destined to. So we'll be doing the uh, steering gear tests and after that we're going to uh, test the main engine ahead and astern from the uh, uh, telegraphs which are located in the port and starboard wing plus inside from the bridge. We're going to verify that everything is operational in order to call in the port. So we're in the bridge now, um, I'm here with a second mate. The second mate is reducing the RPM of the engine, uh, bringing them down to a manoeuvring zone in order to uh, do the test. So we'll go down to 45 RPM, which is uh, full ahead, then to a half ahead, uh, slow ahead, dead slow ahead and stop, and then we'll do a kick astern in order to verify that the engine is working astern. And then we will do the test with a steering wheel. So we've got, we've got the hand steering now and it will be a good opportunity to uh, test that the uh, NFU non-follow-up system is working. In order to do that, we will do a non-follow-up uh, test from here. So let's have a look. Sorry. We will do the non-follow-up here, switch. And we will do uh, starboard five. Starboard five. Which is this lever here and the other side from the other compartment and let's bring it to midship zero here we go that's it and a port five okay so this is tested uh, the NFU system is tested and is operational so let's put that back to midship there we go so you can maintain the heading here you need to test this now we book a, put her back to number one and uh, we can change her over to number two in order to uh, make the test. But for the time being, we're not going to do it now. We will do it later on. But you've seen how to uh, change over and do the NFU test from here. You can also do the um, NFU system, the override. It's very simple. You can do it from here. This is done directly when you press it. You take the uh, system and you can control the steering of the vessel. This is the panorama. Um, which I'm going to light up for you to see. I'm doing a starboard 10 with this lever here, the override lever. I'm doing a starboard 10. The vessel is swinging to starboard, which you can see here on the rate of turn. And now I'm doing a port 20. and the vessel will start swinging to port in a while coming easy easy to port 10 where you can see it here and i'll bring my heading back to 298 that's Two right nine. i will bring it don't worry midship so it's 301 here and the vessel is still swinging to port i'll put the rudder five degrees to starboard in order to reduce the rate of turn lovely midship okay so now it's time to uh, put the uh, hand steering please confirm that you can steer Port 5. Port 5. The AB now is doing port 5. Rather port 5. Okay, okay, very good. 298. 298. We have verified that the system is operational also from these levels here, which is the override system. And uh, yeah, we're waiting now to reduce the RPM in order to perform the uh, test. The sun has gone down, and uh, unfortunately, we don't have the uh, privilege to uh, have a uh, good view on the items but we have the ability to switch on this light and uh, brighten up a little bit the uh, bridge so uh, we are at seven knots the engine has been stopped so I'm waiting uh, for the uh, engine RPMs to uh, to be to show zero and uh, then we'll be doing the uh, engine tests astern So the uh, vessel now currently is swinging to starboard 
Um, there is a good practice in order to uh, slow her down. You can swing her to a starboard port in order to reduce the uh, speed. Um, if you feel confident with that and you can do it, it's a good practice. And of course you've got enough sea room and uh, no uh, traffic which you may um, uh, disturb. It's, I usually do it. So um, we're doing a harder starboard. We wait for the uh, ship speed to to reduce in order to uh, perform the uh, the uh, kicker stern and to test the engine telegraph from the uh, port and starboard side bridge wings. Hard to port. Hard to port. Thank you. So the uh, rate of turn was uh, to starboard, and uh, since we've got the rudder to uh, hard to port, the uh, rate of turn is uh, changing direction. It's coming now. It's easy to uh, port. Uh, still at starboard, but it will eventually come to port. So. It's a good uh, seamanship that you check outside um, and you check the horizon. If there's no horizon and you've got a land, it's good to see that you're actually moving to port in order to uh, cross check that you are actually moving to port. So, we're almost there. You get a little bit of resistance, uh, but when it comes to, uh, to change, when it comes to zero, eventually she will start swinging to port. There she goes, she's got one degree, two degrees to starboard with rudder currently hard to port. You can go up to uh, 45 degrees um, at a speed below uh, 12 knots on some vessels and these vessels uh, have a sensor which they will uh, activate the permission to go to a hard to port. So, give me a hard to port 45 degrees, please. Hard to port 45 degrees. So, he's gone now to 45 degrees, and uh, yeah, the uh, rider is there and is obeying the orders. Come to port 35. Port 35. Port 35. Thank you. Of course, all of these things, um, you, ha you have to uh, watch the, uh, the weather direction, the uh, current, the sea, the wind. Everything has to uh, be uh, taken into account in order uh, to perform the uh, tests, since the uh, maneuverability of the vessel depends on these factors too. So let's say if you've got a strong wind from the starboard and uh, you've got a high accommodation like we do, which is about, uh, about to uh, 36 meters uh, from sea level, the, uh, the accommodation acts like a sail. So if the wind is from the starboard, the aft of the vessel will swing, will go to port and the bow will swing to starboard. So that's in case of, bad wind, of strong winds. Um, you have to pay attention also on the currents, as I said, and on the uh, seas. If there are heavy seas, it's most preferable that you do the test by having the, um, having the sea, the wave on the bow, and you can perform the test like that. So it's uh, time now to go and have a look and uh, see what the speed is. So what's the speed, guys? 4.2 speed of ground. All right, that's okay. We're almost there. And the rudder is on a hard to port, and uh, yeah, we've got three degrees to port rate of turn, and yeah, she's reducing down. That's good. The engines now give us permission to uh, make uh, a kick astern. So, please put midship the wheel. Midship the wheel. Remember, 
when you make movements uh, with the uh, engine, it is preferable that you have the rudder midship. Um, so you minimize the, the uh, thrust on the rudder. Less vibration. So, rudder midship. So, okay. Can you light these up a little bit, please? That's it. Thank you. Right, so let's go a dead slow astern. So we've got here the uh, indication that the engine is doing a dead slow astern. You've got it also there, and you've got it on the uh, funding device here, which is currently showing that the vessel is doing a dead slow astern. And the engine telegraph has been successfully tested from inside, from the bridge. So I will bring it back to stop. And I will head out and take command from the uh, port side wing in order to uh, do the uh, test from the port side and then will be the starboard side. So off we go. In order to do that, I'll have my uh, uh, walkie-talkie with me. And we'll do the test from outside. I'm here on the starboard side now and we need to do the test also here from the starboard. So now we're going to do um, take command on the starboard and make it dead slow ahead. In order to do that, you press the on switch which is located here. Uh, I'll go on the dimmer and increase the uh, dimmer as much as possible. And uh, off we go. That's it. Wonderful. Great. We press escape and we take the command. Request command. Starboard wing is in command. It is stated here, but it's very, very bright. So let me take the command also on this wing. Starboard wing is in command. So I'm going now to uh, make a dead slow ahead. In order to uh, do that, uh, I will increase to a dead slow ahead. Right, here we go. Dead slow ahead. Engine is uh, following up on a dead slow ahead movement. That's it. Port and starboard engine. Wonderful. So that's it, we've done that too. Stopping the engine. Both engines have uh, stopped. The uh, RPM are going to be um, zero. And when we've got a ready to start, we're okay to uh, make also a dead slow stern. I've done a dead slow stern on the port engine and dead slow stern on the starboard engine. So that's done. Both engine telegraphs, port and starboard, plus the bridge, have been tested and have found in good working order. So both engines are stopped and I'm going inside now to the bridge and take the command of the system from there and um, yeah, we're going to perform the steering gear test. I'm back in the bridge and it's time to uh, take the controls from inside here. So I have to go and press the uh, bridge. And the bridge is in command. So these controls are ready. We're going now to perform the steering gear test uh, with the uh, third engineer who's down in the steering gear room and uh, the electrician who is also with him. And uh, yeah, we're going to do those tests and establish that everything's working out all right. Guys, please check that all indications are operational and let me know if there's anything okay, we need to uh, check. So, right. thank you. Uh, hey, Yanis, do you copy? Yes, Captain uh, Hello. Uh, we've done with the, um, with the engine telegraph test. Uh, we finished port and starboard them on the bridge. Uh, let's go and proceed with the steering gear test, please. Okay, I proceed to steering gear and I will call you. 
All right, thank you. So basically, he's going to go into the steering gear. He needs to test the telephones. There are two type of phones. The, uh, the normal phone that we have here is the, uh, the auto telephone, and the other one is the sound power telephone. So he needs to establish communication with the bridge and test all the equipment. He needs to check on the uh, gyro repeaters, which are also located down there, and to uh, test every pump. So let's go and have a look. This here is the uh, steering gear um, column where you can see uh, the alarms, if there are any, on the steering gear system. Uh, there's a good uh, chance you make a lamp check and you verify that everything is working. You don't have any issues with the lamps. And you can make a buzzer test in order to verify that the system is operational. So, yes, that's it. Uh, you can see here that we have from the port side and from the starboard side, we have the uh, pumps running. One pump is sufficient to, uh, uh, on each side to uh, accommodate the needs of the steering. You don't need a, a second pump. Uh, in case you need to start another one, you just start the other one and you stop the, uh, the other one. So it's very simple as that. We've got the port side and the starboard side, as explained. And uh, yeah, we'll be performing the uh, tests in a while. So now they're calling us on the old tow telephone. Hello, this is the bridge. Hello, Yanis. I'm good. Okay, steering gear number two, okay. So I'll give you a second, mate, and you'll keep in contact with him. Bye. How are you doing? Uh, so, I will put now 35 to 4. Tell me when 35 to 4 is done, alright? So the rudder is at uh, going to 35, uh, port 35, and uh, we're going to perform the uh, time test. Okay. Okay, so like works. Thank you. Wait, so like. We need to count the time. Starboard 30. Starboard 30. Can you tell me when it's starboard 30 down? Starboard 30. Starboard 30, all right. 27 seconds. 27 seconds. Are all we right. okay? We're in time? Yes, we're in time. Okay, so the uh, checklist indicates that the uh, system has to uh, operate um, at a time below 28 seconds. So we are all right. That's done. So now we're going to do uh, 15 degrees port, 15 degrees starboard, and we need to do this in, two, uh, in, in 60 seconds. So we're going to do this now. 15 degrees. Starboard 15. Starboard 15. Okay. Starboard yeah. 15. Sorry, what has the engineer advised? He will proceed now with uh, his uh, trips, trip tests okay. for the steering gear pumps. All right. And when we have changed to the Emergency, other pump, yeah. uh, we will perform again the steering gear. Okay, that's wonderful. Okay. The rudder. So we're waiting now for the uh, engineers uh, to uh, trip the uh, main pump which is in use in order to establish that the uh, backup pump is. Uh, available and can operate in case of an emergency so let's have a look okay we have an alarm we acknowledge which is the uh, buzzer stop okay they've removed the uh, the system override. And the uh, starboard pump has uh, started. Welcome back.
back. We're on the starboard side wing. Uh, we're going to do now the uh, test on the uh, steering here from the starboard side. Again, take over. Button is pressed, system is taking over. Now we'll do both rudders, uh, port five, where I can check on them. Yeah, that's the one on the port side. That's the uh, one on the starboard side. So let's do now a starboard five. That's it, starboard five. System is operational. They're tested, dimmers are okay. So we're good, power it down. Just make a test on the uh, telephone. Let's check on the bridge. Hello bridge, check. All right, okay, that's good, thank you. So, telephone's tested, everything's all right. Got that. Uh, you can put here the uh, handset for the uh, VHF, but you're not able to set the VHF channel. It will only listen on the channel that you have inside. And you've got the uh, receptacle uh, for the uh, microphone here for the public uh, speaker, which you may use in case of uh, emergency. So let's uh, sound also the uh, ship's whistle. That's it. That's all right. Morse key, which is up there. There's the light. It will point out, as you can see. That's it. That's done. Rate of turn. Everything's wonderful. And this is the uh, bridge navigation alarm system. Uh, reset which resets the time if you're outside of the bridge in order the system not to uh, start um, uh, sounding out. So we've got this and we've got the speed log here and the depth indicator. So everything's working on fine. So we're ready to uh, call to our next port. Uh, everything has been tested and uh, hopefully everything will go fine tomorrow and arrive at our next port. So let's power them down. Let's turn them down. Hello there to you all, I hope you liked today's episode, eventually uh, we managed to arrive in port, performing all the tests required and uh, everything went well. Uh, I hope you liked it, please subscribe to the channel if you find the uh, items uh, and the videos in this one uh, interesting and uh, write in the comment section below and eventually I will get back to your comments uh, by replying to them one by one. And uh, yeah, I wish to everyone out there fair seas and uh, stay strong. Till next week, uh, keep in touch. Bye bye, stay safe.